Friday. Time to go car shopping with KUSI auto expert Dave Stahl. Yeah, this man knows more about motorized transportation than anybody on the planet. He joins us now with what, Dave? Uh, P.S. I love the shirt and mask combo this morning, Dave. You Very like cool. Retro tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't have any tattoos because I'm a chicken, but but I do have but the you shirt can wear them. and I have the mask. And by the way, no alligators, no crocodiles, <laughs> nothing in this car. Sorry. I can't even imagine trying to put it in there, let alone drive around with it. Well, you know, Wednesday I had the Kia Telluride, which you can't even get right now. They're selling so fast, it's ridiculous. So here's his brother. This is the Hyundai Palisade. They're almost identical, except the Palisade has gone more of the luxurious route. Yes, it's all wheel drive. Yes, it's got the same engine as the, the Telluride, the 3.8 with 291 horsepower. Yes, you can go off road with it, air suspension, but it's all in the looks and different things. Uh, one thing I didn't mention on the, on the Kia is when you use your turn signals, it lights up a camera on the dash so you don't even have to look at your rear view mirror. You just look on the dash and it actually has a really high def camera that shoots down either the left or the right side, depending on which turn signal you used. It's got the right same Harman Kardon sound system, but the interior is totally different. It's got heated seats. It's got cooled seats. It's got the Napa leather. But for some reason, and I don't know what it is, the public is being drawn more towards the, the Kia than the Hyundai. Not saying Hyundai's not selling the heck out of these things. They're really doing a great job. Flip and fold second row seats, third row seat goes down. And this one, by the way, is Moonlight Cloud. That's the paint scheme on this particular vehicle. Uh, it's just, they drive extremely well. You know, they, they've got, this one's a little bit what I would call thick. I mean, when you're going, when you go into a turn on this, it's just a little bit more of a, a heavier vehicle, or it feels heavier, where the Telluride is a little bit more sportier, sportier, can't even say that word. So I don't know, it's it, it's, it's a toss up, uh, whether you would pick this one or the other one. If you like both, this you can get this in the, in the dealership today, that's not a problem. I didn't get as good as fuel mileage in this, I was really surprised, I only got 23 and the highway on this is 24. This one was a little bit cheaper than the Kia, and it didn't have as many options. The base on this was 47,750. Mine tested out at 49,070. So it's a great three-row SUV. It's got more luxury than the competition. So if you need something like this for the family, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds, which would include an alligator. So. Check it out, they're in the dealers now, and I'm bringing in a McLaren on Saturday. Sorry, Lauren, you'll have to get up early and set your DVR. How are you gonna do that to me, Dave? I know, I tried to get it on Friday, <laughs> it's but. okay. I appreciate the last ride in this, the exotic sports car. That sure is pretty, thank you, Dave. Bye. <laughs>